The multiplicative inverse divides a value to equal 1. The multiplicative inverse wants to use a value it will divide to get to 1. So we have to think about this first value 9 as a value that we have. We have 9. And our goal is to make 9 become 1. And how can you do that? Well, the only way you can divide and get 1 if you're dividing the same values. So the multiplicative inverse is to divide the exact copy of itself to get 1. 9 divided by 9 equals 1. In algebra, we use the multiplicative inverse to make a coefficient value become 1. When solving for a variable, we want to have the variable x all alone by itself. And if you have 9 times x, then we need the 9 to become a 1. And how can you do that? Well, we can make the coefficient 9 become 1 by using the multiplicative inverse divide by 9. And as we learned with solving equations, that when we do these inverse operations, we have to do them on both sides. Let's check for understanding. Which shows a multiplicative inverse? Explain. A. If you start with 14, divide by 14 equals 1. Or B. You start with 6, divide by 3, and equal 2. Blank shows the multiplicative inverse because... A shows the multiplicative inverse because 14 divided by 14 equals 1. It's all about the value that we start out with and then divide by the exact value to make sure that it divides and equals 1.